I'll be honest with you guys, it's been a while since I've seen a drama series. It's not that I hate them, just never really found any that piqued my interest. The only one I'm watching right now is Sekuban Deka, and that's only because I heard it inspired Kill a Kill. But after some recent lurking around through the internet, I came across a drama series that people were mentioning here and there. And that series is Blue Blazes. Blue Blazes, aka AoE Hano, what's that, I'm not pronouncing it right? Well, I don't speak Japanese, is a drama series based off a manga of the same name. The story takes place in the 1980s at the Osaka University of Arts, where our main character, Hano, wants to become a manga artist, but has competition from real people at the college. No, literally, real people make cameos and play big parts in the story. Ano Hikalaki, the creator of Evangelion, Yamiga Hiyoyuki, one of the founders of Gainax, and Akei Tamaki, a former board member of Gainax. There are a few other characters, but I'll talk about them later. When I first heard about this plot, I thought, Oh, this is a fictional story about a guy who wants to make a manga while constantly running into real anime directors. What gave this away was at the beginning of each episode, they said, quote, this story is a work of fiction. But after doing some more research, I discovered it's loosely based off a true story. The creator of the manga, Shimoto Kazuyuko, actually attended college at the Osaka University of Arts, where many other famous directors and producers attended as well. So the idea is that the creator of the manga is making a fictionalized version of himself that's interacting with some of the real people who attended the school. So I guess you could call it a fictional historical autobiography, based off of real people and events, but never really happened. Which is weird because at the beginning of each episode they say, quote, this story is a work of fiction. I've heard a lot of people compare this show to Barakumon, and I would make the same comparison too, but I've never seen Barakumon. The plot is very weirdly paced. At first it seems like the main story is focused on Hano while competing with other people at the college. But as it goes on, it seems to lean towards the true story on how Gainax made the Diacon 3 animation featuring Hano's wacky hijinks. Now I guess this is because the manga is still ongoing, so it has different story arcs with him competing with other people. Since I haven't read the manga, I hope this is what it is, because just look how many people attended this college. Imagine what you could do with this. There are some other people in the series, like the two friends who are just kind of there and help Hano here and there, and the occasional cameo from other people, but they're really not worth mentioning. But I think the lack of characters kind of works with the story, up until it becomes a Daikon documentary. But again, it's probably just a story arc. Or at least I hope that's what it is. Moving on. Oh yeah, I forgot. This show has one of the weakest romantic subplots I have ever seen. There's a love triangle that goes on on the side, and my god, is it pointless as hell. There is no need for these characters to exist. Now, I know what you're saying. It is a drama series, so there has to be some drama in here. But tell me, if you take these characters out, would it really change anything? Do they really add anything to the plot, besides the occasional help here and there, but really anyone could do that? However, not to spoil much, but it does kind of end on a somewhat sad but honest note, and I kind of like that. But again, the romantic plot is pretty pointless. I guess you could argue back that it wasn't the main focus of the story, and it was just added there because, well, apparently everything has to have romantic subplot. What's with that, by the way? Oh well, if you liked it, cool, but I really didn't. Moving on. Again. One of the best parts about this show is how much it's like an anime. Since it's based off a manga, there are so many anime tropes in here. It's come to my attention that there are people who are fans of anime, but kind of shy away from drama series. If you're one of those people, I would highly recommend this show. It talks like an anime, it paces like an anime, it's pretty much a goddamn anime. But that doesn't mean it would work as one. Throughout the entire series, Hano constantly monologues to himself. If this was an anime, I would say, hmm, that's not surprising, I see that a lot. But since it's live action, it's funny because you don't see that a lot. Remember my last review? Yeah, me neither. And how I talked about how you can do anything with animation, but in live action you have restrictions. I think they're using that against itself. It's funny because you don't really see these tropes in live action, and that's what gives its flavor. Anno's kind of an egocentric asshole, and in a way, it works. The way he acts like an egocentric asshole is kind of funny, 
and even sometimes it's relatable, like the way he criticizes things. Ever had one of those moments where you're sitting at your friend's house and you're all watching a movie and they're all laughing and enjoying it except for you because you're analyzing and critiquing every second of it and people are just like, why don't you just sit down and enjoy the movie? And, and you're like, you have to critique every second of bad movies so people don't make this mistake in the future. And they're just like, it's just a movie. Why don't you just enjoy it? And like, because I can't enjoy shit. And then you have this big argument on why the movie is shit and then you guys aren't friends anymore. Fuck. In fact, that's another thing about this. It's relatable. It's relatable to so many people. If you're into drama series, I would really recommend it. If you're into anime, it has many of the same tropes. If you're a fan of Gainax, you'll love this. If you hate Gainax, then I think you'll also like it because they kind of make fun of him. If you're a critic, the way he reviews things is so true. If you're someone who draws or makes any form of entertainment, it's pretty inspiring. And especially if you're a fan of classic anime, you will love this. By God, the references they make. And hell, even if you don't know anything about classic anime, it could educate you in a way. The show relates to so many types of fans of anime, I don't know how else to say it, but if you're a fan of anime, I would really check this out. There's a fan sub group called Overtime that really did a great fan subbing of this, the typesetting and script is just perfect. Hell, there's even a streaming site out there that's streaming episodes of this in 720p. But I don't want this video to be taken down, so I'm not going to encourage you to pirate anything. Hint, hint, wink, wink. The show is only about 11 episodes long, but each episode is about a half hour. I don't know how else to recommend this, other than the fact if you're an anime fan of any kind, I highly recommend Blue Blazes. And no, 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 no references. No references to that. We just switch around the name, and you get that name. No. No. Ah!